Hola chicos. Okay, so we're going to look now at direct pronouns and these direct verbs that go with them, okay? So these are the shoot at me list. Why are we calling them that? Because that's one of the ways that you can use them. So let's have a look at the basic, right, which we've used lots and lots of times. Lo veo, okay? Now that one is to see, veo, I see. So I see him, okay? So we've got him. But what about this one when we say, lo miro. Now mirar is to look, yeah? So we can't say, I look him. We have to say, I look at him. Okay, so not only can they, not only can it be a him, but it can also be an at him. So that's what we've got, a couple of options, okay? Um, just before we finish, because this is gonna be a very short video, if not, I wanna show you something. I mentioned this in, the, in one of the videos before, but just I wanted to sort of stamp it home with you. Have you noticed that most of the time the examples that I'm using are what are called third person, that is the he, she, or it, or the they. The reason is, because they are the only ones that really cause any confusion. See, that's the, they're the, what are called the shoot at me, the direct, yeah? And then we've got Yeah. So if you look at the list, these are the only ones that cause the issue. All the rest, it doesn't matter if it's a direct verb or an indirect verb, it doesn't matter. You're going to use the same, yeah? For example, let's look with me, all right? The sentence would be, if I write it here, no, we'll write it here, look. Me dice algo, okay? He tells me something, all right? Or, He sees me, me ve. It's still me. It never changes if it's me, it's me. Okay? So the same with te. You could just put, he sees you, or he tells you something. Te dice algo. Okay, so the me and the te, the nos and the os, no problem. It's only here and here that you have to make that decision. Am I using a direct verb or am I using an indirect verb? Okay, and when you're reading it, when you're reading it, then you've got to make the decision, right, they're using a lo, so is that going to be him or is it going to be at him? They're using a le, is that going to be to him, him, for him, on him, from him? Okay, so that's all that you're doing. Okay, so that's pretty much our uh, pronouns um, done. I have done another video a long time ago, well, probably over a year ago now, on the structure, on the, the placement of the pronouns. And it's in the playlist, in this playlist, okay? So look for it. It's in how you order the pronouns, okay? So look at that as well. And then you really should be in a decent place to be able to start using your pronouns, or at least understanding when you're reading them. Okay, so I hope this has been valuable. Entonces, nos vemos hasta luego. Adiós.